Hello everybody, welcome back for some more God of War 2. And today we're gonna go ahead and well, for one, we need we need to destroy this door real quick, but we also need to head back and of course go get that urn I was talking about. So, you know, again, first things first, take out this. Should just be a couple swipes. I think there might be another shortcut I probably could have taken to get to where I need to go. But I might just end up taking the long way there just in case. Because, you know. I'm not, well, actually, hell, if you go back this way, I think there will be some enemies that do spawn. I'm correct. Wait a minute, this is going to take me, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you can jump, yeah, you actually have to go back this way, because you can't get from up here from down there. You have to literally go all the way around once more to get here. Okay, so, I'm not wrong on that, on that merit, finally. <laughs> yeah, no, right? I'm actually not wrong for once. Yeah, if you come back here, there's going to be enemies that will spawn. There will be a wraith and a couple of soldiers. So, let's go ahead and take out these guys. I, don't, I think they start with a C, though. I swear these enemies start with a C. Not not wraiths. Well, not these guys. But uh, this guy right now that I just snapped his neck. Yeah, him. That guy right there, I think they start with a C. For some reason. I want to call them Centurions, but I... That, that sounds like a cool name and all, but that doesn't sound right. At all. <laughs> Which, knowing me, it's probably not right. Okay, let's cut off that... Let's cut off that jackass. Go ahead and go this way. I love the swinging in this game. Like I said before, God of War 2 in comparison to God of War 1 feels so much better because it's just... It's so much more fluid and just gives you so much more options to do different kinds of combos. I mean, yeah, the combos are the same in a sense, but you just feel like you're... You just feel like you're a light... You know, a light armored character. You really feel like you're not struggling to move around pretty much. Which is something I love about, you know, your basic run-of-the-mill beat-em-up or hack-and-slash games. Now, as it comes with, like, you know, games that are more tactical, you know, being slow and being more patient when, you know, that's kind of its game, you know, that's fine and dandy. It can be a hack-and-slash still. I'm just saying that games like this, where, you know, speed pretty much is technically everything, you know, it, it matters, in a sense. It, it's nice to have that ability to be able to be quick on my feet, you know. I love that about God of War 2. Alright, God of War 2. Not, well, I, I probably should say God of War also. Well I, meant, well, I meant to say God of War 2 as in this game by itself, you know, compared to like God of War 1, of course, but, you know, 3 and, dare I even say, extension does fluid combat quite decently. Now, Chains of Olympus, eh, a little bit. And Ghost of Sparta, not so much, but I don't know. If I'm correct, I think Ghost of Sparta actually is free for PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Vita. Son of a bitch, I fell into the water thing. And At least we got checkpoints in this game. Yeah, so we don't have to go all the way back. Which would suck ass. Trust me. That would. Only problem is we have to run through that stupid gate door thing one more time. I don't really typically like running through it. Because I don't trust it enough. Son of a bitch, I fucked up. <laughs> Oops. I almost feel like playing Mario Sunshine for some reason. Is that weird? Uh, let's just grab the hill because we're not going to ever come back here anyway, so we might as well just grab it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> That's typically how I like to think. It's like, if we're not ever going to come back here, then, you know, what's it going to matter, really? I don't even know what this stuff is. It's not really lava. It's just regular run-of-the-mill... Well, it's boiling... It had some uh, steam coming from it, as you can see right there. So it's possible that it might just be some kind of like boiling blood, maybe? Well, not necessarily blood, but just some kind of like swampy, murky water, I guess you could say. Okay, we already got that chest down anyway. Alright, we gotta climb up here one more time. We'll be out of here before you guys know it, don't worry. Alright. Yeah, don't press R1! <laughs> I mean, yeah, R1's used to drop down, but from, you know, when you're climbing on a wall, but here it's going to drop you down for for good, pretty much. Oh, yeah, we have to stand right about there. When it glows to that, when it has that little circle glow to it, that's when you know you, you're pretty much good to go. Now, watch your jump right here, too, because I've, I've fucked up my jump here multiple times. I'm going to blow that up. This guy's already dead, apparently. I can spawn more jackasses, but I don't think they're gonna—I don't think they're gonna come in here and try to hit us. That one proved me wrong, though. 
course. Snap this dumbass neck. Come on, dude. Just get just get stunned one more time. It's okay. It's easy. I know. Run to this. Press triangle. Well, press whatever the prompt is. <laughs> Not exactly my prompt. We have the Urn of the Gorgons. Active during bonus play. Receive a special ability. Or activate during bonus play, my bad. I guess apparently we left some guys over here. So it's always kind of, you know, good to come back and kick some ass. Alright, now we got a Gorgon out of, that, out of that. Be careful of this... Well, be careful of that. Of the, you know, trying to roll off there. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but it had a really, like, terrible D-res for a second. Wait, what's that up there? So, there's like another block thing up there. You see? Oh, okay, no, they're just... That's nothing. Alright. I thought that was one of those block things we were pushing, pushing earlier. But no, I'm wrong. They're not. I keep freaking myself out, thinking like I'm going to end up somewhere. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're safe. It's all good. So now that we've gotten that stuff taken care of, let's go into the Temple of Urail and see what's going on inside there. Urail is the sister of Medusa. So just in case anybody was wondering. And guess what? Now that we've got that fleet, we can go back to that area we fought that, those Cyclopses and those boars. Yeah, these guys are the ones that break out of their thing rather quickly, too. So we can go back to that area where we fought the Cyclopses and the boars and go ahead and break down that door that we saw. Remember that? Yeah. Remember these guys? Yeah, yeah. These are the guys that you can actually do circle and triangle on in the first game and get red orbs out of, too. Alright, let me show you guys what triangle does when you do a, a parry. If I decide to do it anytime soon. Alright, let's try that out. You're not gonna do it, are you? Okay, well, triangle does nothing so far. I could have sworn that you could do triangle with it right now. Huh. Well, I guess I swore wrong. And I've been proven wrong. Alright. Go ahead and just jump off the ladder. It's really no point. No, jump off the ladder, Kratos. Never mind. Yeah, fucking A. Let's just press R1 and just. No, god damn it! I don't wanna. I don't want to go down the ladder the normal way. I don't have the R1 to go anyway. Not good. There we go. Oh, you're still going to land on it anyway, you son of a bitch. You should have saw that coming, to be honest. These guys are one of my personal favorite enemies from God of War. Uh, these kind of like... Oh, I think they might be Minotaurs. They might still technically be considered Minotaurs, though. I'm going to break this guy. He's a race stone anyway, might as well. They, these guys are fun as fuck to fight and to kill. Because of the way that they're so slow and juggernaut and heavy and stuff like that. I mean, I like juggernaut -like enemies. Juggernaut. Damn it, not juggernaut, juggernaut. I like enemies that are juggernaut, like. You know, I mean, yeah, I like killing off regular minions of the dead, but these guys are just I just feel so much better when I kill them off. In in games like this. You know, I mean, in games where, you know, it's more you know, life or death, definitely. Well here's the uh, cyclone thing. Let's, going to show off early, but I did not do that. Let's do it in the air. Yeah, technically I did show, off, show it off at the beginning of the game, of course, but here it's much different. Alright. We'll press circle real quick, and then we'll press square, and we'll turn around. Now, if you turn around the other way, it does the same thing. It doesn't matter which way you turn around, but for some reason it looks more etchy whenever you, like, do it from a different way. It, it's, it's really weird and hard to explain, but yeah. Alright, let's throw these guys at these guys and just kill them off that way. I can't think we have the ability to stone people already. No, we don't. I do not like the square parry in this game at all. I just never liked it at all. Now, when it came to, like, God of War 1, hell yes. Because you can do, like... Basically, the parry in that game was you initiated your final square hit combo on an enemy. You know, whenever you do, like, your final blade swipe, pretty much. And it was freaking awesome. I think Triangle even allowed you to do like a slam, just like a, a regular Prometheus slam, pretty much. Alright, let's grab some health, because we need some of that. I don't care what I say. I need some damn health right now. I already have a magic full anyway, so it's whatever. It's whatevs. How much for a Barbarian Hammer? 3,000? Okay. 3,100, pretty much. And this guy, for some reason, does not want us to carry on our wayward son. What a fucking asshole he is. Hope he dies so I can get that damn lever thing back. He's kind of an idiot because he basically allowed us to go through this. Alright, the trick here is you want to get it down to as high... You want to get it up as high as you possibly can, but also as low as you can so you can get through that little, that little gate thing there. Yeah, 
I'll show you why in a second. Well, first, let's blow up this door. And we'll grab whatever this chest contains, which should be a Gorgon Eye. Phoenix Feather, alright. I've been proven wrong before. Nothing bad. I don't know that. This is why you wanted to raise it up as quick or as high as you possibly could. So that way you can get on these these little ledges right here. That raises that down too. These guys are pain in my these guys are a pain in my ass. I've always hated these guys. These are the worst enemies in any God of War. Cause instead of being like quick and on your feet with these jackasses, you have to be slow and steady. And it sucks. <laughs> I just want to kill them as fast as I possibly can. I don't put up with them anymore. Come on. Yeah, if you attack him too much, he'll eventually just, uh... He'll, he'll eventually start to fight back even more. And... There we go! Step in the back and trip him up. The good thing is now, in this game, we don't have to worry about, you know, all that... That bullshit we had to put up in the first one, where you basically, you... You throw him on the ground the first time, and then... Whenever the second circle prompt comes up, that's when you... Do the initial, you know, execution, pretty much. Alright. On to the next area. And that letter piece just fell off for no apparent reason. Now, if you die here, you have to keep seeing this part over and over again. So, let's not try to die here, shall we? As you can see, that guy... I don't know if that's the same guy from earlier or not. Might be. Who knows? Let's climb up this real quick. And then, watch out for these blades. These fucking blades hurt. As you can see right there, this shit hurts. A lot. It really honestly goes. Ow! Fuck! Oh, I died again. Now I gotta go watch that. Again, after I just said don't die there because... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to. You know, that's like the 15th time I think I've been proven wrong by this game. You would think I would know what I'm doing in this game, but apparently I'm not. Apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Take it, I'd say take it slowly. I mean, slow and steady wins the race. Of course, you know. But this is the part that is kind of tricky because my death perception sucks. Yeah, you just now tell us how to do that? Thanks. All right, so move this lever back. Uh, yeah, that might that might be the same guy. That might not be the same guy. Who knows? You're gonna run inside there. Now the annoying thing is, even though we just kind of like tricked it out, uh, for some strange reason the game will make that little this little uh, spiked cylinder thing move a lot quicker. Like it actually, it basically is it's, it's rubber banded, pretty much. It's like no matter how far. Or how quickly we go through that, it will catch up with us no matter what, somehow. Alright, get away from that book, jackass. I am all that remains. I know now that I will not reach the sisters. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, shit, you are an ugly bitch. Alright, this is your rail. Basically, she's one fat, ugly bitch. And yes, you can go ahead and uh, use the fleece to deflect these abilities here. And if you do that, you'll get magic out of that. Um... She has two swipes. Well, with that. Well, she has this swipe, of course, too. Which is a regular normal attack. You can block that off normally. You can block off that other one normally. But that slam ability? No. Yeah, typically when it comes to, like, slam attacks in this game, sometimes, you know, most majority of the time you can't block it off. That headbutt thing, you can block off. I kind of fucked up there for a second. All right, let's just block that. I don't think you even have to, like, perfectly time a block there, either. I don't think that's necessarily a parry. I think you just like you just block it off initially, and there you go. Hey, you block that off, and then you roll, and then there you go. Alley oop! That should. Oh no, nope, never mind. Yeah, I'm trying my best not to do parries, even though I keep getting, you know, the ability to pretty much do it. Now, all right. So what we're doing now is we're basically just going to go ahead and uh, shoot it with Typhoon's Bane. This I don't think you can block. I think it's just. You get stuck at it and kind of just stones you. Run right over here and then get a nice little parry off that. Yeah, you might want to be... Yeah, be careful. If, if you're too damn close to that, eventually it will actually hurt you a little bit. Or it will start to like slow you down, as you can tell right there. So just be very careful of that and just understand the timing. and You'll be down. You'll be done down with this in no, in no pat. You'll be done in no time, pretty much. You get down pat. All right. Now she's going to go ahead and climb up her stupid little fucking pillar one more time. And she's not going to launch out her stone ball things, or her gaze balls, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, come on! You could have totally fucking hit me with that, and I would have blocked it off and hit you back with it. I think you actually get magic from it, too, if I'm correct. 
She'll do two uh, two tail swipes if you're too close, of course. And there's another attack where she goes ahead, she goes ahead and jumps right off the pillar and lands her fat ass right on the ground and basically slams the entire place. Yeah. But remember, folks, mine never know. There we go. Let's get another pillar down, shall we? And all these pillars do nothing besides just do damage to her. And it's kind of funny how that actually it actually ends up working the same way every single time. This is the part, this is the phase that's kind of a little bit more trickier because now we have to worry about her slamming on the ground like that. Constantly. And yes, she is a bitch. I tried to explain this multiple times. I hate this boss a lot. I mean, yeah, she's kind of fun to fight, to be honest, but man, is she one weird looking motherfucker. <laughs> well, I don't expect much from God of War. Well, I didn't expect. Well, I honestly probably should have. I'm trying to say, like, I should have expected this from God of War. Considering that it is God of War that we are iron playing. And we've seen even worse than this before. I guess we could try to. Never mind, we got fucked. <laughs> I was trying to get, you know, some magic orbs going here, but I ended up screwing that up instead. Oh, and I just hit the wrong button. That's not good. Fortunately for me, I can go ahead and get the circle pond right back again. Triangle. Square. Come on. Was it X? Yep. So it's probably more likely the same thing every single time. And now we just press circle. Slit her throat. Rip her head off. And then, of course, now we have the ability to use your rail's gaze. Alright, so, yeah, we just hold down L2 and press square, and now we can do the Gorgon Stare. That rhymed, un unintentionally rhymed. <laughs> Oops. And this is great for getting these enemies stoned. I recommend just doing this here, because that way you can get as many uh, plus 15, you know, orbs as you possibly can. These guys only attack so many times, so it's no really big deal. For some reason, I, I didn't get any orbs out of that guy for some reason. That's odd. I just screwed it up somehow. And that, well, same thing with that guy, too. Yeah, and of course, you know, whenever you get, like, new magic abilities, they give you, like, a certain amount of time to to use it unlimitedly, so. Alright, we're not going to worry about the safe spot just yet. This part is probably one of my least favorite parts of God of War 2. Is when you have to go through this whole freaking stupid puzzle area that you have to lift off all these stupid chain pillar thingies, and it's just, it's not fun at all. It's not fun for anybody. But the, the problem with this is there's just so many of them, and there's so many areas we can just go into, and it just, this just bugs the hell out of me, so. And there's going to be a lot of swimming, and a lot of water stuff to do. The good thing is, when you, you know, you do the charge thing underwater, you can go ahead and break through bases just like that, and get stuff done easily. Let's try to go this way and see what's down this way. That's where one of these things are. And I don't think we can go that way just yet because, nope, we need to get the lever open for it. Is there anything I can do? No, okay. It, it never hurts to look, just to be on the safe side, because knowing me, I tend to fuck things up quite rather quickly. Alright, so let's grab this. Move this up as high as we possibly can. Wait, this ain't gonna do anything, is it? No, I think they stay. I think there's one that doesn't stay, though. And this one should be the one that stays in place. There we go. That one stays in place, but we need that one to get across to the other side, to the other pool, pretty much. This will go ahead and open up the ladder. As you can see, there is a Sisters of Fate statue. Wait. Oh, no. That'll open up the cage. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that'll open up the cage door. Why am I such an idiot today? Damn, I'm just forgetting everything I've done in this freaking game. Alright, we'll go down through here. Yeah, there will be a lever right there that you can pull, so you can go ahead and open that door back up if you need be. Uh, let's check for any vases. There's one, and then any more. Wait, what? Hold on, I see something shining. You folks see that? What is that? I don't know. Never gotten that before. Huh. Okay, well. Whatever it is, it is, I guess. Yeah, and as you can see there, the door is basically broken down, so there's nothing we do there. Let's go ahead and lift up this pillar here. And it should clink anytime soon. Should be just be one more half rotation. And there we go. That one should be finished. And now we pull onto this lever here. We pull this lever underwater, which underwater sucks. Doing anything underwater in God of War sucks because it takes forever to go ahead and do it. And they'll make us swim back here. And there's going to be, of course, another stupid pillar thing we have to lift up one more time, of course. 
no surprise. There is a little gate thing here that we can't break down. And we're going to go ahead and break through these bases real quick. And we'll, we'll be on the other side in a few seconds here. I just wanted to go over this way first. Alright, tilt this back. Get this thing lifted up completely. This shouldn't be the one that has to fall down. That's the amount of time. This shouldn't be it. Better not be it. Alright, as you can see, there are chests over there. But how are we going to get to those chests, you wonder? I'll we'll show you guys how in a few minutes, when I get the chance. Probably should go ahead and lift this up, too, because while we're here... Probably should have done that to begin with, but I didn't, because I'm an idiot. Alright. Yeah, I... I don't know. I, I wanted to... There was something I wanted to say. It was about the lever pulling, and I just... I'm like, ah, fuck it, who cares? I wanted to say something, but... Now I necessarily don't feel like saying it anymore, because it's really pointless to say. Go and get a Gorgon Eye. Good. That's always nice. You would think, if you look at a Gorgon Eye, wouldn't it, like, stone you or something? Or do they have to be inside of the head of a Gorgon pretty much to do that? If I'm correct, this opens up the door. So, let's go ahead and get this opened up. I don't think it falls down, though. It shouldn't fall down. That's just our way out. We need to have that opened. Because if we go through this without having it opened, well, we're kind of fucked now, are we? No, we're not that fucked. Alright. So now we got one more stupid-ass pillar to go through. Actually, wait just a second. Because I slightly remember there being some chests. Here they are. Before we all, before we do all that stuff with the lever, let's go ahead and get this done with. Because that lever in this room will actually go back down. As you can tell, there is a statue that we have to worry about. So that's why, yeah. These guys are also fun to fight. They're another one of my favorite enemies, and they actually come from God of War 2, which is kind of funny, because most of my favorite enemies come from God of War 2. I mean, there's like a few in God of War 1 that I like, which was, of course, the Minotaur, you know, Minotaurs. These guys are so fucking easy to kill, and it is so fucking fun to, like, do that onto them. I don't know, it's... It's so rewarding and feeling. It just, it, it feels nice. I'm not gonna run to, like, you know, some place and... I'm not that... I'm not a violent person in real life or anything like that. I mean, I... I like, I just like violent video games, that's all. That's pretty much what it is. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's just a fucking fantasy world, and I realize that too. I'm not stupid. Alright, so go ahead and use the Statue of Fate to basically slow down time on this on this little segment here. Of course, you know, you can always just do um, the Cyclone ability and just get some nice little racking up some combos if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and chop this guy's head off real quick. Get him killed off, get him out of the way. There we go. Yeah, it's like f fly plus five for like a brutal kill on that, which it does suck. I'm only gonna get like plus five. I think we should get like maybe plus ten or something. I mean, yeah, he's. Yeah, I know they're not that hard to kill off, but still, granted, nonetheless, you know, it's always nice to have that option there. Spin around and, you know, of course, while I have the time to get more combos, might as well get them up, right? The cool thing is, like, the more armor you break off on this guy, eventually he'll start to, like, kind of give up, so. Yeah, I kind of killed him off a little too late on that part. A little too early, I should say. Not late. Come on, hurry up. I know what to do. Let's just go. Alright, so now we're going to lift this thing up one more... Or, this last one, I should say. As you can tell, the top of it's broken. So, I don't know if that has to do with anything at all. Alright, we're going to go ahead, run through here. Basically, you know, do the slow down time ability. And now, we're going to climb up this way. You're going to stand on this, which is going to go ahead and lock the ladder, just in case you fall down and you fuck up. Which I honestly probably should have got earlier, but I did not do that now, did I? I'm going to go ahead and do another one of those statue things. I'm going to fly over this way. This this should be the one that... Oh, yeah. It's broken on the top because it, gets, it can't get stuck. That's right. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God I landed that. <laughs> that was scary. So apparently there's a thing on the top that will actually lock it in place. I just now saw that too, so. Now I got six Phoenix Feathers, which means we got another magic upgrade. So we're damn near close to getting all our health and magic upgraded. Look how quickly that is. I'm technically pretty much almost done with this fucking game. Let's go ahead and get some health and upgrade my Barbarian Hammer and then I'll end off the episode that way. Actually, let's just upgrade the Barbarian Hammer now. And thank God they upgraded this upgrade system. So now we do Soul Summon, basically, and we have increased damage. 
Uh, soul summon basically is whenever you flick the right stick. That's all it does. It doesn't waste magic or anything. It's just there. That's literally all it is. All right, let's pull this. It's kind of sad that there's no, um, you know, save spot anywhere. This part's fun, I will admit. Although it can be a pain in the butt, and I'll show you why in a second, because I think if you take too damn long to get past this part, eventually you'll die. Uh, you guys will get to see why in a second. All right, I'm gonna kick this fucking dog right in the fucking head, and knock his ass out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a good idea to get as many brutal kills as you possibly can. Ah, eh, yeah, it don't matter. Oh shit, what's going on? We're about to die. We're about to be squished. So the gimmick with this area is. The more that this uh, platform here raises up, the more that door will eventually start to kind of like open up too. So basically what we have to do is we just got to fight off these dogs as much as we can. And as you can see, you know, if, if you are stuck in like a circle prompt, the game will still let you, uh, you know, go ahead and basically have your opportunity to basically, um, you know, stop this thing from falling. Gene, stop this crazy thing! Oh man, we have died. Of course. That's not a surprise, really. Because I die all the damn time in this game. Okay, so I fucked that up massively. <laughs> uh, let's try not fucking that up again. My question is, why is there no safe spot here, though, either? This might be a longer video than most, due to the fact that I have to get through this damn part. This takes more than, like, a minute to get through, and it's pain my dick. Let's go ahead and use Raid of the... Titans, I mean, fuck it, why not? <laughs> Get as much of a combo as we can. We're definitely getting a higher combo than we had last time. Unfortunately, we only got like 99 out of this. <laughs> yeah, I probably could just stand on that, but that's not gonna work. <laughs> that That's not gonna... Yeah, that's not how this game works. Oh, I see, because you... Oh, okay. That's what's working out. All right. Yeah, don't worry about this. I mean, just basically kill off the dogs as quickly as you can. And if anything, just fucking freeze them. I mean, if you really needed to, just just freeze their asses. I'll show you. Just crush them. That way, they don't have to like hit you while you're trying to like move this thing down, and we'll be fine. That's literally all you have to do on this part. Be careful with your button presses, cause you can't fuck this up. I think it's like one more time, and then we're pretty much good to go. Should be good to go. I don't know why we're not getting any like plus 15 orbs out of that. Guess we must have wasted as all the orbs we possibly could get. Yeah, we should be able to jump out of it now. There we go. We're out. And then, of course, you can hear the dogs basically getting killed. Off. Why is there no damn safe spot yet? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and freeze these harpies here and kill them off. Uh, be careful on this part, because you can't fall down and die. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. There's no fucking safe spot anywhere in this goddamn game now, is there? I swear. Well, there was a safe spot. Yeah, it was called way back there. Um, what I could do now is just end on this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of God of War 2, if that's okay with you guys. And as always, take care, everybody.